Hi friends, in today's video, we're gonna make a touch on off switch. With this project, you can turn on and off your devices just with a touch. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel, Canny Tech. Do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. So these are all the components we're gonna use for this project. First I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay, after that I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its center pin to common pin of the relay and its other pins to normally close and normally open pin of relay. After that I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to positive supply and its other pin to ground. After that I'm gonna connect 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to positive supply and its anode to remaining coil pin of relay. After that I'm gonna connect BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 1 to anode of the diode and its pin number 3 to ground. After that I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 2 of the transistor. After that I'm gonna connect touch sensor and connect its VCC pin to positive supply and its ground pin to ground and its IO pin to remaining pin of 10k resistor. After that I'm gonna connect LED and connect its anode to positive supply. After that I'm gonna connect 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number one of the transistor and its other pin to remaining pin of the LED. So we have completed all the connections Let's see how this circuit works. This is the touch sensor. It has two jumper settings jumper A and jumper B. If jumper A is not connected, the output of the module is gonna be active high. If jumper A is connected, the output of the module is gonna be active low. If the jumper B is not connected, the module works in momentary mode. If the jumper B is connected, the module will work in toggle mode. So we have connected the jumper B to make our module work in toggle mode. When we touch the sensor, its output goes high. When we touch the sensor again, its output goes low. We have connected an NPN transistor as a switch to drive the relay. When the output of sensor goes high, the transistor conducts and relay turns on. When the output of sensor goes low, the transistor stops conducting and relay turns off. This is how the circuit is working. 